Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will show you the details about the docentric standard placeholders. Most often, we need a quick access to the available placeholder list while we are setting up some print destination. That's why we have this button here. If the report context is known, which is usually the case, the form will first list the report-specific placeholders, so we need to select another filter, Standard Placeholders. Most of the placeholders we see here are common to all reports. There are, for example, some company-related placeholders, then current year, month, date, and similar, then some user-related and worker-related placeholders, and so on. In this example, we have used the current year and month in the print destination to get the dynamically created folder names, and here is the result. We said that most of the standard placeholders aren't report-specific, but there are three exceptions. They start with the prefix field, method, and parameter. Here in the list they have an underscore xxx suffix, where xxx should be replaced by a field name, method name, and a parameter name. Parameter xxx fetches the value of the matching report parameter. As a tip, you can see the available parameters in the docentric report template, report data source, in its parameters data section. In our example, we will use the document title parameter. Field XXX and method XXX are looking into the report execution context table to fetch the values from its fields and results of a certain type of its methods. Let's first explain what the report execution context table is. While the report is executed, it must somehow get the information about the underlying document, and that document provides the context for the report execution. It is usually the posted journal, like customer invoice journal or purchase order confirmation journal, or the source of that journal, or in other words, the related order, like sales order or purchase order. It can be a trial and error process for a non-developer to figure out the correct report execution context table, so we decided to help. In all our replica DSP classes, we are setting the context table to the related source document. Of course, you should make sure to specify our replica DSP class in the docentric report setup form. When you print, for example, the sales invoice, it can be while posting the invoice or from the sales invoice journal form. In both cases, the report execution context record will now be set to the related sales order, and the name of the table is sales table. All the fields that we see on the sales table can be used in the combination with field XXX placeholders. How can you see a list of available fields if you are not a developer? You can open a table browser with this table. Here we see, for example, that delivery name field has some values, so we will use it as our example. What about the method xxx placeholder? Well, you will definitely need help from a developer who will open the code related to sales table and check the available methods. Any method without parameters can be used, and display methods are great candidates, so I will search for some of them. Let's apply these three special placeholders in some print destination. Here is one tip. Email print destination and its body are a fast way to test your placeholders in the combination with the open email before sending flag. This means that the mail message will be created, but not sent, so that we can easily review it. Let's print one document and check the results. The email message was downloaded, so we open it, and we can see the results of the previous setup. This came from the parameter document title, this from the field delivery name, and these few lines from different methods. Once again, it is important to remember that the field and method placeholders need the report execution context, 
The best way to always have a known and reliable context is to select our report-specific DSP class in the report setup. And as a side note, we realize that it isn't easy for a non-developer to figure this all out. That's why we also provide the other two types of the placeholders, custom and user-defined, where no technical knowledge is required. We're going to explain them in the following two videos. But if you know what the report context table is and which fields and methods it has, there are some powerful things you can achieve this way.